Hello. The big advantage with an LFP battery is you are advised to charge to 100% at least once a week by Tesla. And of course, the good thing about going on a long road trip is you have 100% of battery that you can use, not just 80 or 90%. I did make a video a year ago saying I wasn't going to charge to 100% anymore, but I have since changed my mind. But, and here is the but, my degradation is bigger than Tesla say it should be. But also, a couple of people who leave comments here, their degradation is better, mine is worse. But why? Hello, my name's Nigel. Uh, Thanks for joining me. Hope you can like and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching. So, my degradation is 5.3%. Tesla claims it should be only 12% after 200,000 miles, and I've only done just over 20,000 miles. And Tesla say their batteries should be good for 300 to 500,000 miles. So, obviously, my degradation of 5.3% in just over 20,000 miles is well on the way to the Tesla claim of 12% after 200,000 miles. I'm not worried as that would give me uh, a life of over 384,000 miles for the battery to reach zero. Or put another way, 192,000 miles at that rate to have 50% left in the battery and that should be a lot longer than the car lasts and on a graph the degradation does take off as I found with my own figures my battery degradation is slowing down. The graph would look something like this and it sort of tapers off. So lots of people kindly left their Tesla Model 3 degradation figures in my comments and they have all less degradation than me. I think the reason is I've been on a number of road trips to Scotland from Cornwall seven times. Uh, five of those were to the Orkney Islands, to the very top of Scotland, and also driven from the top of Spain to the bottom of Portugal and back, and to taking the Santander ferry to Portsmouth, and also to Wales and the Isle of Wight. So I've done a lot of Tesla supercharging. And the thing about Tesla supercharging on a long road trip, you're on a strange road and you really don't want to run out of electricity. Now, the sat nav tells you where the next supercharger is, but you don't know. There could be a diversion, you could take the wrong way. And if you've got a choice of charging to 80, 90 or 100 percent, I think on a strange road, it's probably good practice to go to 100%. So that's exactly what I did. I sacrificed not running out of electricity for a little bit of range degradation. The last thing you ever want to do miles from home is to run out of an electricity charge. And I think the reason for my poor and most people's range degradation is that I've been charging at Tesla superchargers to 100% on long road trips. And they've all been quiet. I've never been to a, a supercharger that has been full on the road trips. And it's often, they've been very quiet in Spain and Portugal and in the UK often are not driving at the busiest time of day. I do try and avoid those times as much as possible. Lots of the time I'm driving at night. As I get more confident in UK roads, I often only charge enough to get to the next charge point and the touchscreen shows me exactly where that is. So in most cases now I'm charging to 80 to 90 percent. But I did do a lot of miles in the early stages on road trips where I was charging to 100 percent and I think that was probably where the problem was. So friends, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, my experience is it is by far the best car I've ever had. It's not perfect, but I could really never go back to diesel, petrol or gas cars. And I've been driving for 50 years, mostly diesel, uh, until getting my Tesla EV. I will leave a link below 
And if you do buy a Tesla using my link, we both get uh, some kind of discount. It changes, so I don't know whether it's um, actual miles and superchargers or exactly what it is, because it has changed. But uh, there it is. If you're going to buy one, why not use my link? And I consider people who watch this to be my friends. Thank you very much for getting this far. I really hope you can like and subscribe. Drive safely. Don't forget to use your reusable coffee mug wherever you go. And I'll see you next time. Thanks very much. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.